Hi, I'm Mary. You may be wondering whether it's a good idea for you to take on a DIY project to set up your own solar system or whether it is worth it for you to hire out a contractor to do the project for you. Long story short, it's probably in your best interest to hire a contractor. Setting up the system is a little bit more involved than it might seem from the get-go. So let me run through a few reasons why it might actually be better in the long run for you to hire a contractor. The first and most important reason that you may want to hire a contractor is simply that they have the knowledge and the technology to know exactly whether or not your roof is able to withstand the system. There's actually more that goes into figuring out where solar panels can be placed and how much weight your roof is able to withstand at any given point. Every solar contractor is gonna have a relationship with some engineering program that can tell them exactly how much weight your roof is able to withstand and exactly where the panels will be the best fit to make sure that your roof is completely safe even if something very unexpected like a enormous 1000 year storm comes through your area. On top of being able to make the best decision for your roof, a contractor will also understand that in some cases, the roof is actually not the best place to put the panels, and they will know if it's in your best interest to instead create a ground mount. And if that is the case, then they'll also have the know-how and the skills to create that ground mount for you and create it in an optimal way so that you are able to produce as much energy as possible with as few panels as possible, saving you money in the long run. Another point on the number of panels that's needed is that it can be a little bit deceiving how many panels you'll actually need, but a contractor will have the technology to make sure that they know exactly how many sunny days you're likely to get versus cloudy days, as well as how much shade is hitting your roof and any obstructions and what that will do to the amount of power that's being produced. And finally, a huge one that most people would likely overlook is the amount of heat that hits your roof because solar panels are actually very sensitive to the amount of heat that they are able to withstand. So a contractor is able to make sure that with all of those factors taken into consideration, your panels are still going to produce more than enough energy to make sure that your home is powered. And those are just not easy things for you to figure out on your own. Another one of the huge pros of hiring out to a contractor is that a solar company is gonna have relationships in place already with the places where you'll need to get permits because there are actually a lot of permits with your jurisdiction that need to be obtained before you're allowed to build a solar system on your roof or on a ground mount on your property. And it's not necessarily the easiest thing for anybody to just walk into one of those offices and get one of those permits. However, the solar companies are doing it all the time, so it happens a lot faster and there's a lot less time and headache on your part. And while we're talking about time and headache, another really big point here are the warranties that you'll get with a solar company are gonna be a lot more useful to you than the warranties that you may or may not get if you install the panels yourself. Even if you are able to get some sort of warranty on the panels that you install, again, you're just gonna to have to go through a lot more hoops in your communication with that company to get the panels replaced. Whereas when you have a warranty through the solar company, the company is gonna take responsibility for any issues that you have. And therefore that warranty is just a lot easier for you to call upon when you need it. If you call and say that there's something wrong with your panels, then the solar company will take responsibility to fix it for you immediately, rather than you having to convince anybody that there was an issue. And finally, this may seem obvious, but probably the biggest reason that it's worth it to go with a contractor rather than turning solar into a DIY project is just the time that it would take you to learn everything that you need to know to make sure that it works out and then all of the time that it's going to take to get the whole thing rolling, talk to all of the perimeters that you need. It's just going to be more time probably than you expect and every single hiccup along the way is going to be personally your responsibility rather than being able to just hand it off to somebody else whose job it is to take care of those things for you. And these people have experience, they're good at what they do, and it just comes down to time versus money. So if you are a person who really wants to put in the time and energy and learn all of the skills that would be needed to turn solar into a DIY project, it's definitely possible. You just have to make sure that you don't miss anything because one little hiccup can make it so that your system doesn't work the way that you need it to work, which is just gonna cause so much more headache and then down the road, more money. However, it is possible to do it on your own and it's just up to you whether the time and the effort is gonna be um, a payoff in the long run.